guys, Adam here, Blackfire Productions. Welcome back to another World War Marvel. Today we're gonna be jumping into another unboxing, an unboxing of Big Boy this time. Uh, that is CP36, the apartment building. NYC apartment building, go with their NYC train that they already have for, uh, that Atomic Mass Games already has for Marvel Crisis Protocol. Uh, before we do though, I gotta give a big shout out to Torchlight Games and Hobbies out of Burlington, Ontario, Canada for the support that they've been giving the channel over the last while. So big shout out to them. If you haven't, check out their link in the description of the video down below. If you can, you can use the code FIRE5 to save yourself 5% off of all your hobby supply needs, such as paint, paintbrushes, etc. Um, but, so, terrain. You guys know that I love my terrain. I love my boards. Um, I love them to look thematic and everything else. And uh, absolutely fell in love with this kit when I actually looked at it to see what was inside. There is a ton of little goodies uh, in store for anybody that is terrain building. Everything from a fire escape to AC units to like the water towers, just so much. Uh, I have one of these and Atomic Mass Games, you did great uh, in, in making it because you made me want a second one. Uh, I definitely will be getting at least another one to go with the other apartment buildings that I have. Um, I just love the bits that are on top that go with it. Um, so yeah, it, it looks great. Uh, but don't take my word for it. How about you guys take a look at as we uh, go through this unboxing and see what's on the inside. So here we are with CP36 NYC Apartment Buildings uh, Terrain Pack. Uh, super excited to get one of these from Torchlight Games Hobbies. Uh, really looking to paint it up, uh, well put it together and paint it up and that. There's a ton of options uh, in this box. Um, so again, big shout out to Torchlight uh, for the support they've been giving the channel because it has been awesome. Uh, so without further ado, there's the back of it and some more um, details as to what comes in. But let's open this up and see the contents of the inside. I was hoping to uh, do this last Saturday um, or get this done last Saturday uh, for release, but uh, I was gone away on a bit of a retreat. Uh, I think I mentioned in one of the other videos, if you guys have been watching, um, I was gone for six days away from my wife, kids, um, and was basically uh, just sort of uh, looking after some, uh, own, uh, some of my own stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, focusing on myself, which everybody needs every once in a while for a nice uh, break. Um, but yeah, so here's the instruction books and oh my God, the huge plastic pile uh, that comes in this box. There's so much. Uh, so let's look at the instructions first and go through it. Uh, I don't know what this sheet is. Oh, that's awesome. That's the billboard friggin' sign. That's so cool. I didn't know that was in there. So it does come with something you put on the billboard. That is, that is really neat. Um, I might have to weather it up. I have some like weathering pigments and stuff like that. Um, washes and everything from AK Interactive uh, that I've been using on a lot of my minis, like the lizards with his uh, lab coat and stuff like that. Um, this is a prime candidate for that because no billboard is super neat and clean um, after it's been outside for a while. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, so here's the instructions. Read this first part. There's quite a bit of stuff. So you, let's, uh, let's see what's here. Uh, you got your water tower uh, assembly and then your skylight assembly and rooftop access assembly. And then your billboard over here, <laughs> fire hydrant. I absolutely love that fire hydrant there. Uh, fire escapes. Like I will be doing everything here and then your uh, back wall front wall options like there's just so much so much um, and then obviously building the assembly what's cool is that you can build each of these I think as like you can do a two-story three-story or a two-story and a one-story instead of like doing three I'm gonna do a three-story myself just for that sizable uh, piece I think what might be cool is if I get like two or three of these with the other uh, apartments that I have, I might do like a complete like rooftop style board uh, with like just little gaps in between stuff like that. Um, something I just think it would be really cool to 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 see nothing but like rooftops uh, on a board and make it like uh, you fighting across the rooftops with like Spider Man up against the web uh, the the spider foes stuff like that. It was super cool, um, and it also has me thinking. I've been thinking of like a narrative campaign, uh, bounced in the idea off a couple of people um, beforehand, uh, where I wanted to sort of build like a little bit of a narrative campaign 
take my son through playing like Spider-Man up against like some some of his uh, arch nemesis and stuff like that. And I think it would be neat uh, for that as well. Very narrative and uh, fun. So that's the instructions. Uh, let's open up this beast of a pile of plastic and looks at the sprues. It's just so much. Oh man. It's heavy. It's so heavy. I don't think I can handle this. Uh, but yeah, you have your wall section there, right? The inside or outside. Um, looks like you have inserts somewhere for this stuff as well, like for the backs. So I don't know how or what, obviously the instructions will tell me, but I have no idea. Um, just some of the ledges and stuff, right? Super neat. Oh my gosh, this is getting me excited. Here we go, here's some inserts. Yeah, different types of windows, doorways. Oh, so cool. Okay, well, uh, if any of you guys over at Torchlight Games and Hobbies are listening to this, which I know you do follow, um, if you have more of these, I will eventually at some point be getting another one or two because I'm loving this just looking at this already. Um, this is a different style of door. No, so you get a whole bunch of these, obviously. So a bunch, bunch of these wall sections. Um, there's your base with your size five, right, on the bottom. Uh, and then I'm gonna say that would be the roof and you can see like I don't know how well it's showing up here, but uh, You can see like the the is it crenellation? I think it's what's it's called either way. You can see that uh, More wall pieces with it, doors storefront everything else look at that like this is just begging for like graffiti Like that's what I want to do. I want to do like a big like no more mutants or like something um, you know, Spider-Man is uh, evil. I, I don't know, some sort of like graffiti tag on the side of these things. I've never done freehanded stuff very well, um, but I think that would be super cool. I could probably find some transfers or stuff that would help. Um, but uh, yeah, so you can see another style of um, the ledges and everything else with the top part there. I really like that one. Uh, this looks like... Stairs, they even come with pigeons. Like, I, so if anybody has seen me use my telephone booth and some of my city setups and stuff like that, like one of the things I laugh about is the pigeon that's sitting on top of it that's pooping all over the place. And so like to see these guys, uh, it just continues on that theme. And uh, thank you, Atomic Mass Games, because that is freaking awesome. Skylight stairs, I'm not sure, something, uh, I don't know. Um, oh man, it just continues. Another wall piece, lower doors or plain walls, depends on what you need for them. This looks like it's going to be your emergency escape, as well as AC units, because yes, AC units. You have uh, Nelson and Murdoch, so you can build the uh, their their law law firm there. Um, I'm not sure again. Fire hydrants. Um, it's just some of the stuff for like monitoring like hydro going in and out of the building and and like yeah circuit boxes <laughs> oh you know, the water silo water tower right man so cool so freaking cool i absolutely love this like this is just so neat uh and and i guarantee you that this is going to be able to like probably stay separate from um the uh, top of the building so you can interact with it and act as like actual terrain and everything else. Um, separate terrain. Oh man. Battle on the rooftops. That's what I'm looking at. Battle on the rooftops. But yeah, there we go. All these pieces. Doorway, sky window or lights. Like it's just so much. It's such a freaking cool box. And again, that is awesome. I didn't expect to see that actually in there. Oh, I just kicked the camera. I'm sorry, guys. The world was shaking for a second. Uh, I didn't actually expect to see that in there, but uh, it is pretty neat that it is. Um, I'm, I'm, like, I'm looking forward to like building this and getting it all together. And like I said, all of this stuff, being able to leave it detached, also becomes terrain that you can throw from rooftops and stuff like that. And I think that's going to be uh, something that I do is uh, do like a dark alleyway uh, rooftop battle type board 
Um, I also want to do like a toy board, sort of like an Ant-Man, the end of the first Ant-Man movie. I want to do that for a battle report too, where it's like my kids living, playing in the living room with the toys all over the place and I'll just have the boards out and everything. I think that'd be fun. Um, but yeah, so that is the unboxing of CP36. 36 uh, NYC apartment building uh, train pack. Absolutely love it. I highly suggest it to everyone. Uh, the detail in it is fantastic. It's begging for some graffiti on the side and that, so it's so cool. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to be getting at least one more at some point. So Torchlight Games, looking at you because I will be coming your way when that purchase does happen. Uh, but there are a few other things that I need to grab as well. So, But uh, looking forward to getting at least another one of these and putting it together with my other apartments. Uh, it shouldn't be super hard to, to paint. I'm going to probably just spray paint it uh, various, like brown to a red to like an orangey sort of like burnt orange color then I can do some a wash over everything do the stone in gray um, and then uh, I should do the wash after that and and just go from there like it's, it's not going to be hard I think the hardest part is going to be like I said the the graffiti and freehand that I want to do I think that will be the hardest part but yeah so that's that's cool uh, this this excites me for a new project uh, and this will be what I'll be working on very soon so anyhow guys make sure you check out the link in the description of the video down below to Torchlight Games Hobby save yourself 5% off your hobby supply needs by using the code FIRE5. Also, while you're down there, you can uh, check out uh, the link to my Patreon page uh, and you can give me support there if you would like um, because all the support goes directly into the, back into the channel getting these supplies and such as well. Um, to our Patreon members past and present, thank you very much for the support you guys have given already. So please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, ignite your hobby.